Hello guys, welcome to Let's Clean and Christmas Decorate with me in my dining room. This is a collaboration of Decorate My Christmas Tree and I thought that I would throw in a few other pieces that I wanted to do in my dining room. And I like to start by cleaning everything out that I'm gonna decorate and give it a good wipe down. So I take all of my decorations out because I'm gonna put new stuff in. I love this clock. My mother gave me this clock and it was a reddish color and I had it for a few years and decided I wanted to paint it black and to distress it, I added some shelves in where the little hanger was inside. It used to have a door on it and all that, and the glass door. And I took all that off, added shelves, and I've used it for decoration for years now. And I just love this piece. So I'm giving it a good wipe down. It was very, very dirty, just like most things in my dining room. The other half of my dining room I use for uh, my crafting. So you're only going to see half of my dining room because the other half is full of paint and projects and just a lot of mess. So we're just going to see part of my dining room. And the other half I'll clean before Christmas when we get ready to have our big family dinner. So now everything is all cleaned out and now I can start decorating. I love using greenery. I find greenery at yard sales, secondhand shops, and I usually will pick it up if it's inexpensive. And it looks nice. I want it to be nice greenery. So I like to add things to give them height. This needed a little bit of height so that we could see this cute little primitive snowman. He's missing his little nose, but later on, I do find it in the bottom of the box that I'm working out of. And he is so cute. I've had him for years, and I just love him to pieces. I don't even remember where I got him. So don't mind the white tissue paper that I have up on the top. I was going to try and kind of add some, maybe some fluff or some snow, and I just didn't like how it looked, so I took it down. I added this string of pine cone lights to the top and it's long enough so it's gonna go down into the little shelving areas and I think it looks so cute. So along with my just my regular greenery, I'm adding some of the little pieces of cedar that I got from Timu. I got a couple of, they call them Christmas trees and they actually are cedar. So I grab those and they come off really easily. And I love how they look mixed in with my greenery. And so I added those in along with some real pine cones to give it a more rustic look. Now I'm gonna decorate my little shelves and I'm gonna add some of my candle snowballs and a little snowman. I have lots of snowmen. I have a love, love, love of snowmen. So I have really have a hard time resisting them and I try not to buy them, but I end up buying them if they're just so cute, I can't help it. So now I'm just gonna add some greenery in amongst the, the little things that I'm gonna put on the shelf and just fluff them up and move them around. And then I'm gonna add the little pine cone lights from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up. I added a little birdhouse snowman for the middle shelf and then these cute little tins of snowflakes cutouts on the front. So that's going to work really well with my pine cones because I can take the excess lights once I get done with them on the other shelves and they can go get tucked right inside those little snowflake tins. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of those little cedar branches to my greenery that I have on my shelves. I just love the pop of different color and different texture 
that it gives. And I just love the look of cedar anyway. I think it looks really Christmassy and warm looking. I just like it. Ah, so here is my little carrot nose for my primitive snowman that I have on top of my clock. There, now he's finished. So I have these stacking boxes that I've had for years. I got at a just a local regular store and I have a tiny little tree with a little rag uh, garland on it and some lights and I didn't have the batteries for the little tree but I think it looks cute just the way it is tucked in one of the boxes. So now I'm just going to throw this over a table, this little Christmassy uh, table runner, and then I'm going to decorate this little table in front of my windows. So I'm just going to add some more of my little snowman collection with some more greenery and lights and a little wreath in the window. And this just gives it a little bit of whimsy, I think. These little candlesticks were done on the What Would You Make collaboration a few videos back. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the description. This was a fun one to do and I kept them natural and I'm glad I did for now. I may change it and want to do something later on, but I really love how they look in this display. So I'm adding a little more wood tone to this display with this really pretty dough bowl. This used to have a vanilla candle in it and I burned it down. This was from Signature Home and I'll have a link down in the description along with a discount code that you can use to get one of these if you want to. Uh, it smelled wonderful. It was really great to have in the house. But now I have this beautiful bowl that I could either buy a refill for or use for something like this. So I just added some little uh, rattan balls to look kind of like snowballs and some rusty bells and then of course some more of my cedar garland. Here's another link that I'll have down in the description for you. This skinny tree, I just got this off Amazon. It was on a deal and I absolutely love it. I always struggle with trying to find room or a spot in my home that I can put one of those trees that just is big and full and don't get me wrong, I love it. But I, it this one, it takes up such little room and the base of it isn't very wide, so I absolutely love where it's sitting in my home and it doesn't take up all kinds of room. So I'm just adding some big poinsettias and I had some black and tan ribbon that I'm using. I think I did this whole same thing last year. I just love the pop of red that it gives it and it just goes along with my rustic primitive decor so well that I'm just going to do it again. This video is a collab put on by Tasha at Sunflower Tasha DIYs and co-hosted by So Kate. This is about Christmas trees, either making them or decorating them. And of course, I picked decorating them. So don't forget to go down in the description and check out the playlist of all the awesome creators that'll be linked down there. jingle bells I grubbied last year. I'll put a link to the video down in the description. These were a lot of fun. I just used Mod Podge and my grubby mix and came up with these cute little grubby bells. Of course I have to have something grubby on my Christmas tree. I also made some really cute little angels and I did that last year as well and I'll link that down in the description if you want to know how to do it. It's just using clothespins and uh, just some some scrap cloth that you might have and something little like a little star or a little button or something to put on the front. It comes out so cute and some wire, of course, don't forget that. But 
yeah, it comes out really cute. Now I'm just going to take this uh, frosted poinsettia and put that on the very top for my tree topper for this year. And that's going to be that for my Christmas tree. Now I'm just going to finish decorating. I have this round Tabasco, Tabasco, Tobacco basket. <laughs> and I put a wreath in it and I'm just going to hang it up over my little primitive cabinet that I have. And then I'm going to decorate my cabinet. My husband bought me a cute little fishing basket one year. It's just a miniature basket that looks just like his grown-up basket. And he knew that I would want to use it in decor. So I thought I'd get that out and use it. I hadn't used it in a long time. So I thought I'd throw some greenery in it and some red berries. And then, of course, some little lights. And then, of course, we got to grab my snowman that I have. This is just a small portion of what I have. I didn't want to get everything out. Usually wait until January to do snowmen, but I really love how fun they are and they make everything look so cute. So we're doing snowmen now. So I'm just adding the big fluffy snowmen here and there and then wrapping lights around them. And now I'm all done with this half of my dining room. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for joining me for the clean and decorate with me in my dining room for Christmas. I really love how this came out. And of course, I love all my little snowmen being displayed. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out that Christmas trees playlist and have a great day.